What is going on guys? It is Power Bank coming to you live from the hotel room. We are back with another Clash of Clans video. Today we've got a match with Bye Forever. We got CWL going on this weekend. Make sure you tune in for that. I should be live streaming that. I'm not sure what time yet. Stay tuned to my social media uh, for more information there. You can find my Twitter and Facebook links in the description below. CWL Week 3, WHF trying to stay undefeated against an always tough Buy Forever clan. But today's video, we're going to be looking at the, uh, the war that we had with Reddit Omega here just a couple of days ago. I was flying over to Helsinki, still here in the hotel room. Going to be here for a few days, so you guys will be seeing some videos from me with this backdrop. Anyways, 107, 102, the final here. We got some great attacks to show off today. Let's go ahead and get into those. All right, so we are back. We've got Tim here getting hit by Smiling Muffin. Muffin here bringing a great dragon attack. I'm not going to do all dragons this episode because we've kind of done that the last three Clash of Clans episode, hitting Town Hall 9, 10, and 11. Hopefully you guys enjoyed those videos. Um, we've got some really cool attacks, though, today, guys. Really, really dominant stuff from the air. And it's just really, really cool to see some of the different strategies being used in this game. This one is Dragons, uh, but this was one of the few Town Hall 10 3 stars that we had. So I uh, wanted to make sure that we gave it some love. So Smiley Muffin here with a great Queen Charge. Uses a Giant for tanking here and a couple of Wizards to make sure that the only air defense that the Queen wasn't going to be responsible for on her charge uh, was taken out, and he did a good job there with the wizards getting that done. So about 172 archers coming out of the clan castle. I felt like there was Clash Con or something uh, with, you know, endless goblins, but <laughs> if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, disregard. But anyways, queen going in, looking pretty good right now. She's starting to beat through the wall. Well, that means on the bottom, we begin. King comes down, funneling those dragons into the core. He drops a couple of dragons over here. Really smart because the queen uh, is, she's going to kind of head off this way and start working on this archer tower. Drags kind of speed it up for her. And then instead of her beating through the wall or something crazy, the drags are going to take out um, all of that stuff and help her keep going towards the air defenses. So loons in from the flank. They get some really good value there. Rage spells down for those dragons and they are just completely crushing through this base. Backside balloons come in. Check this out. Hay spell down, and just a few balloons come in. They get the archer tower. They go over and get the cannon. They go over and get the mortar as well. Really nice stuff. The queen continuing on with her charge. She beats out of the wall and uh, is now going around the outside. There's only one defense left in the base uh, for the queen, and that is the Tesla. One defense left as well for the dragons, and that is going to be that. It is down now. Everything's down. Just a matter of cleaning up, so Smiling Muffin wrecking this base with dragons. Uh, dragons seem to be a popular attack lately, and a lot of our guys at Town Hall 9 have been using them as well. But again, I digress. I'm not going to go into those uh, today. So let's go down and check out some Town Hall 9 action. Um, we'll start off on number 27 here. We'll go with uh, NR General Council getting hit by three-point layup. This one is uh, some, some sweet air action. We've got 10 minions to go with 21 balloons and uh, I believe four hounds here. Starts off with kind of a naked hero charge. He's got the king. He's got the queen. The goal is to get one air defense, get some, some free defense here with the Tesla farm, and then create a path for the balloons to go around the base in the direction that he's hoping uh, that they'll go around. So sends in a couple of uh, balloons to the backside to get the... Um, CC Lord, if there was something over there, and there was not. So, unfortunately, he does get the CC Lord with the King, and that is now, uh, the Queen is now locked onto it, which I don't think was the plan. I want, I want to say that the Queen was supposed to go by herself a little bit further down the wall. So, he lets her die instead of using the ability. Smart move there, because you don't want those pups flying all the way around. Now you have that Hound out of the game over on the top right. And now it looks like the uh, the pups are chasing this queen over here. One pup is able to take her out with a couple of skeletons there that he dropped in the skelly spell. So other than that, just sending in the balloons around the base. Look at how many hounds he still has up. He's got three hounds, down to two, down to one, uh, and then this backside. So it looks like it could be close, but look at the spells he still has in the camps. And five balloons left over. 
There is the heal spell getting all of those balloons up to full and the final hound is able to tank as well. He drops a poison for those skellies and then it gets a great loon split here and that is going to be that on this base. Just really, really nice stuff here from three point layup. He drops the, uh, the hay spell, moves everything along and that is going to be that. So check out the other side. He's got five balloons left over and he's able to get the, uh, the cleanup done here. He waits for these pups to be taken out. And then after he knows that the uh, CC isn't going to bother him no more, he can uh, drop another balloon in there to, to help clean up. But beautiful job. Bunch of swag there for three-point layup. And our general cancel goes down. Nice attack. All right, next up, we got Psychic Ox Octopus Dan Howe taking this one on. Very symmetrical-looking base. Um, get the air sweepers pointed in opposite directions. And he's going to bring a queen charge on this one. And this is a fantastic queen charge uh, from Dan Howe. Just a really, really dominant effort here. He brings four healers, I believe, for this one. But watch how far he gets into this base. He brings three rage spells. I believe all of them are going to go down on the queen. And he's even going to jumper. You see these long channels going into a base. Those are going to be valuable. Just wait a moment. You'll see what I'm talking about. So the queen going to go to the right because the wizard over there on the bottom has funneled her in the proper direction. There she goes. She's going to step in, get that builder hut. So weird seeing these giants come out, guys. What do you think about the builder huts and the, the builder being gone and these weird events that, that are going on? I don't know what to think about it. I, I haven't put too much thought into it, but, you know, I definitely think it's weird having, uh, you know, giants come out of the builder hut, you know, mid-raid, especially during war. It's not just like something gimmicky that's happening during farming. It's literally affecting war attacks. So, I don't know. Kind of weird, but we'll, we'll we'll deal with it and, you know, make the best of it. So now we've got witches in there and shrink traps this week. So crazy. Anyways, we've got wall breakers coming down. Test one goes down first, and then he's going to drop in three more. And there we go. Opens it up. Check this out. King going around the side. Uh, that works great. And you can see the wizards there are going to be following him up. And they're going to be getting a lot of work done on the outside of this base. So it couldn't be any more perfect as far as, like, the funnel, as far as the queen push here. But what's going to happen on the interior of this base? Well, instead of uh, having the queen be through the wall, why not just help her along with a jump spell? So in a second here, you're going to see that jump spell come down. That's going to lead the queen right into the backside of this base. All defenses should become accessible now, uh, except for the ones on the very, very top. But you've got a few balloons coming now from the bottom with the hound. They are going to be landing on that last little section with the air defenses there. This is really, really solid stuff here from Dan Howe, though, guys. He's got, uh, there's the balloons from the top coming in, directly targets uh, all of those archer towers, and they are going to combine onto the wizard tower here on the end um, to try to get that three-star done. So the queen, she has made it all the way to the backside of the base now, and, and for her efforts, she is going to get mur murdered by the Barbarian King. So unfortunate, but, you know, that's, that's what you get sometimes, queen. You've been mean to us too many times and now it's time for the king to be mean to you so dan howe crushes the base tons of stuff left over taking out the town hall now to get the 99 percent one star up to the three star so nice work dude all right next up we're gonna go down to da, 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 i don't know where the heck was it let's go ah this one looks but emiliano 931 he is bringing 22 minions in this raid and he's also got an amazing, uh, you know, queen walk, queen charge here. So 22 minions, guys. I don't know what the name of this attack is, but this has been used for quite some time now by our guys. It's not a common uh, attack by any means. Like, I never have enough of them in a short period of time to do, like, a guide video. But maybe, uh, maybe I can kind of pick a base for you and come up with something at some point as far as a guide goes. But what you're looking for here is the ability to create a great path uh, in the base with a, a wonderful queen charge, and then also to be able to address almost all of the splash damage in the base. Um, these wizard towers here, you want to be able to address all of that uh, with your queen charge, if at all possible, and or your lava hound balloon combination. So the minions should kind of finish everything off on the cleanup, uh, and we'll see what happens there in just a moment. So we've got the uh, the king kind of protecting the air defense down there. Here comes some wall breakers. Little rage, little rage spell uh, to help him get to the wall quickly. Wears off just before they blow up though. So three of them needed to get into the base. And here we go. He sends in a couple of 
minions from the bottom right to start helping with the funnel. Unfortunately, a Tesla um, farm pops up out there. So that's going to potentially create issues with funneling. Uh, but now we've got the he uh, healers getting affected by this air sweeper. Uh, but now that he's taken out air sweeper on the right, that means that the uh, from the top left of the base, there's really a great entry point because the only wizard tower left is up there and the air sweeper is pointing the other direction. So jump spell comes down very late and that's in order to make sure the queen goes back in and gets a great value here. So you're going to see uh, the queen gets taken down just like so. And once this happens, now we have great pathing uh, for the, the hounds to follow as well as here comes the minions for the cleanup. Balloons are coming in. He even targets this air sweeper just to make sure it goes down. And he does force those other balloons in there anyway. So hounds are tanking. Things looking pretty good. First hound is down. We've only got one more left. And it's going to fly on to the second air defense and clear any traps in the way. Look at the timing, though, and all the balloons kind of cruising through, uh, getting everything taken out. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful attack here uh, by Emiliano. Just a wonderful hit, and the queen is still up. We've got all of these minions and pups uh, quickly cleaning this base up. And that is kind of the benefit of having these minions as far as the cleanup goes is because... You know, you can you can really take your time with a queen charge, do an effective job, and make sure that the minions are going to clean up super, super fast because they gain that momentum. And the more of them that, uh, you know, kind of clear off some of these uh, buildings, the fewer there are remaining, the faster they go down. So Emiliano uh, really doing a great job there on the attack, guys. So that is going to do it for this little recap, this episode here. Reddit Omega falling to WHF in this one, 107-102. Was a midweek random. I don't, I think we might have had like a one Town Hall 10 advantage or something like that. I don't exactly know. Um, all I know is that it was a good war against a good opponent, and we're always thankful for those in midweek so we can actually get some practice. Speaking of good opponents midweek, uh, we've really had uh, a lot of great opponents as of late. Reddit Omega, Bada Bing Clan, Power COC, Six Schlitzes, Red Onslaught, Dark Looter Z, um, a lot of great uh, fair play clans there that, uh, you know, we love to, to play those guys midweek. So um, going to keep up uh, trying to get those W's, trying to, uh, you know, stay undefeated in CWL. So make sure you guys stay tuned to my social media for information on when I will be streaming the Buy Forever War. Best of luck to both clans there. Big shout out to the WHF guys um back home and i really hope that uh, we're able to pull off a victory this week that's all i got though for this episode guys uh stay tuned for more i'm gonna be out of here for now gotta go dude, i don't know what i gotta go do but gotta go do some stuff anyways guys peace out from finland this is power bank signing out till next time guys take care